Hello, my friends. Thank you very much for subscribing to our channel. Today, let's find the solutions to this beautiful set of equations. Why not give a try, and we will come back soon. We first subtract the second equation from the first one and get the square of x minus the square of y plus y minus x equals zero. By using the square of the difference formula, followed by combining like terms, we get x plus y minus 1 multiplied by x minus y equals zero. That is, either x plus y equals 1, or x equals y. In the same way, if we subtract the third equation from the second, we get, either y plus c equals 1, or y equals c. Subtracting the first equation from the third, we get, either z plus x equals 1, or z equals x. At least one of these three groups of conditions must be fulfilled. In the first extreme case, we choose the conditions on the left side in all the three groups. Adding them up, we get, x plus y plus z equals 3 seconds. Subtracting each condition respectively, gives x, y and z all equal to 1 second. In the process of finding x, y, and z, we did not use the original equation. So we need to bring this set of solutions back to the original equations to make a check. It unfortunately turns out that, they are not solutions to the original equations. That is to say, in the three groups of conditions, those three on the left side cannot be fulfilled at the same time. The second extreme case is that, out of the three groups of conditions, we choose all those on the right. Bringing them into one of the original equation. We get a quadratic equation in one variable. This equation is very easy to solve. So we find two sets of solutions. Namely x, y and z are all equal to minus 1 plus the square root of 3. And all equal to minus 1 minus the square root of 3. In the next case, we choose one condition on the left. And two conditions on the right. Taking the two conditions on the right into the one on the left we get twice x equal to 1. x, y, and z are therefore all equal to 1 second. This is the same answer as in the first case, so this is not a solution to the original equations. Next, we select two conditions on the left, and one condition on the right. The condition z equals x on the right means that, the two conditions on the left become the same one. That is, y plus z equals 1. Bringing it into the first equation, we get the square of x equals 1. If x equals 1, z equals x, so also equals 1. y equals 1 minus z, so equals 0. If x equals minus 1, z equals minus 1, and y equals 2. Due to the rotational symmetry of x, y, and z, we actually get six sets of solutions. Together with the two sets of solutions obtained before, we in fact have found a total of 8 sets of solutions to the original equations. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.